right wing war on education is once again focused in Texas where they are just wholesale rejecting textbooks for ridiculous reasons. So we're talking here about the Republican majority state board of education who has rejected seven of 12 proposed science textbooks for eighth graders for reasons that I have an issue with, we'll see what you think. So they largely rejected the books either because they include policy solutions for climate change. Or because they were produced by a company that has an environmental, social, and government's policy. I don't know which of those reasons is stupider. Like having an actual thing that could be done to mitigate an incredible threat like climate change. That's a stupid reason to not accept the books. But the idea that, oh, no, 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 it's not that. There's nothing wrong with the book, but the company has a policy I don't like. So we're going to reject the entire book seems stupider, seems more like, uh, like vice signaling. But I want to give you some comments from actual members of the board. Maybe they'll change our mind. Evelyn Brooks is a Republican board member from Frisco, who on Tuesday questioned the scientific consensus on climate change and suggested that, quote, creation, a religious concept, should be taught alongside scientific theories of the origins of the universe. Brooks was first elected to the board in 2022 and said that she wanted to see more perspectives of people of faith included in the books. And I I think I actually understand the the issue that's happening here. Uh, I don't know if anyone told her that these are science textbooks. There are faith books. You can get those. Different faiths have different books and they provide the perspective of people of faith because they're books about faith. The books about science in theory, and I'm not an expert, are supposed to give the perspectives of people of science, you know? Like Books on economics generally give the perspective of people who are experts in economics. That's true of most subjects. That's how it works. You know, the English lit books don't have to focus on the perspectives of physics people. There's different segments of education and they're allowed to focus on that thing. Now, obviously, I'm being incredibly uh, like uh, sarcastic here, but yeah, like having a person who rejects the books because they present a theme that humans are causing climate change. They're, they're pretending that their issue is with the book. No, their, their issue is with reality. Humans have caused climate change. That's what has been shown. You can try to hide your kids from understanding that, but you can't change the fact that it is an established fact. Now, we, to be fair, have to bring in someone from Texas to defend the state. So, Yaz, what do you think? Yeah, I cannot possibly defend Texas. And I, I resent that I was put in the position to do so, John. Sorry. But also, it's 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 especially egregious for them to be denying climate change when we live in Texas, right? We feel it. We know that the planet is hotter now than it used to be, and it's not okay. And it's like today we have a cold front, but yesterday it was 80 degrees here in like at Thanksgiving time. It's too much. But this is oil and gas country, right? They will never acknowledge that human beings have contributed to global warming on a catastrophic scale in this country. Because if they do, this state, Texas, loses money and we lose influence not only in the country, but around the world, right? Texas has a lot of pull with these oil and gas companies. And they have a lot of pull as far as, you know, like the pricing of gas and the availability of oil and gas across the country, fracking, things like that. All of that happens right here in Texas. We will never see Texas acknowledging that there is, you know, human influence in global mm-hmm. warming. And it's very disheartening to see that these political viewpoints are being pushed in classrooms. And again, unfortunately, that's not anything new for Texas, as you know, that example that you just gave about creationism and things like that. The education system in Texas is is scary. You know, I don't have kids right now, but I think about it a lot. And if I did have kids, I would have to consider, you know, either private schooling them or maybe homeschooling them, which like was never an attractive idea to me ever in life, or just moving out of the state because it is it is very questionable what they're trying to do in these schools. And they're doing it in a very concerted way in even in, you know, like suburban rural communities and taking over school boards and things like that. Yeah, yeah, with clear objectives. I mean, you you laid out the economic objective. They want to protect the industry. They are not interested in the education of the kids. They're interested in protecting the wealthy. Again, so every time you hear that they're anti-elite or whatever, no, every single action that they take is designed to protect the wealthiest in society. Mm-hmm. Um, but even if you just focus on the religious aspect of how like the pro-fossil fuel and religion stuff has been uh, wrapped up together, 
here's an interesting quote in terms of the strategy. This is graphic five. Uh, Kevin Ellis, Lufkin Republican, responded that he believed the board had previously pushed the textbook standards quote as far as we can go on that without the books being determined unconstitutional. And think about that as an admittance of their strategy. They did not push it as far as they could on scientific accuracy or how good it is to educate the kids. They pushed their ideological objective as far as they could go before they fear that even a Republican Supreme Court might overrule it. They don't care about the kids. They're not interested in it. They're interested in, in filling it with, with creation myths. By, by the way, final, final question, uh, which creation myth? I know which one she's thinking of, but there are many. Why pick one? Why don't we just get rid of all of the climate science and we just have a listing of all the different creation myths? We can do the Norse gods and we can do the Egyptian gods and we can do the Roman gods and all that. And we could just have that be science class. That'll be fun. Could you imagine being anyway. in an actual science class and reading a science textbook and then also having to be like, oh, by the way, this is what the ancient Norse believed happened <laughs> instead? Yeah. It's really ridiculous. It's a brave new world. Yeah, like if you want out of class on world religions, but that's not what they're pushing. And we know that. Yeah, church still exists, particularly in Texas. You can go to it.